Hello and welcome to FMD Games. It's Finbar here and today I'm playing Stick War. This is a pretty cool strategy game and from what I remember it's got a really awesome flash gamey intro so I'm going to play it, I'm going to be quiet so you can hear it and without further ado let's go. Nice ninja there. This world is an illusion. In the world called Demon Water, you're surrounded by discriminant nations devoted to their individual technology and struggle for dominance. Each society has developed its own unique way to wage war. Proud of their unique craft, they have become obsessed to the point of worship, turning weapons to religion. Each believe that their way of life is the only way, and are dedicated to teaching their policies to all other nations through what their leaders claim as divine intervention, or as you will know it, war. The others are known as Archidones, Way of the Archer, Sodra, Way of the Sword, Magicum, Way of the Mage, and Spiritons, Way of the Spear. You are the leader of the nation called Ordor. Your way is of peace and knowledge. Your people do not worship their weapons as gods. This makes you a mark for infiltration by the surrounding nations. Your only chance to defend is to attack first and obtain the technologies from each nation along the way. Wow, so there we go. A crazy ass intro. I mean, how cool was that? Um, I'm gonna play on hard because I'm a boss. Pretty much, simple as that. Um, I played this game a little bit before, it's great. I mean, that, that man in the intro had an overly distorted voice but hopefully you understand the story now basically pretty much and let's go to the first battle so the idea is it's like um a side scroller so this is just a tutorial level so it's just telling me what to do so sort of side scrolling combat like age of war or dawn of war or whatever where you like go through time periods except on this you don't um all right yeah it's telling me just how to control them i never really use the controls I more just let them do their own thing because it's just simpler. I just did that. Okay, right, there we go. So, creating a few soldiers to attack. I can't scroll yet. I've already done that. Okay, right. Yeah, and this is how you attack. So you just click that. And you can scroll across, look at their other enemies. They've got other oh, this scissors, archergens, so they've got archers. And they're going to fire at me. And probably one shot me because archers are fucking epic, and as soon as I get them, I'll upgrade them. And pause. Oh, back to game. Alright, oh, I wasn't actually meant to do that. Okay. <laughs> and we're already winning because it's just a tutorial level. But my god, it gets difficult later. I'm playing hard, so. You have to have pretty good tactics, otherwise, you just lose. You have to, like, send the right troops to defeat the right troops if that makes sense so you, you wouldn't send these guys to attack archers because they're just getting mullered like like they are now just getting owned because they can just camp back and fire over you so you just kind of have a combination of troops upgrading the right skill troops at the right times hopefully i won't fail any levels but it's possible because this game does get really hard later on there's not too many levels to it i think there's like eight or nine but they get really difficult later on. Like you, ha you have to get the strategy exactly right. So, bashing away at the statue. The, the aim is to destroy the statue. But some levels you have to defend your statue from incoming hordes rather than attack. In which case you obviously change your tactics. So there we go. Um, I've got an archer. So archers are by far the best thing to upgrade first, I found. By far, I mean, oh my god, they're so good. So I'm just going to start explaining. So, okay, first main level. So this, yeah, this is an ambush. So you have to hold them off until the sun sets. So first thing I want to build is an archer because from long distance, see, they're going to sprint in straight away. Need a troop right away. From long distance, these guys with the bonuses are so good. So like one headshot and they'll be dead. 
Nearly, come on. Don't let him. God. Come on. They can't take... If, he, if they take out... Oh, there we go. God, that was a bit close there. A bit too close for comfort. Um, yeah, these miners are really important. They give you all your money. So if you let them get killed by these gut dudes, then you're screwed, basically. Uh, I haven't actually played this on hard before, so this should be interesting. But having lots of archers will help a lot. Because obviously they're slowing down the troops as well. And the more of them I have, they can just rain down hell. Uh, that guy's putting a die. Oh, God. Come on. No. Balls. That's not the best. Not going to lie. Right, okay. Get one of these. Another miner. So they just constantly rush you. This time there's nothing to attack. So it's just about defense as best as possible. Um, hopefully the archers do a better job this time. Maybe playing this game on hard wasn't the best idea, but, oh god, come on, take him out. These guys are tough. These spear, spear guys, I can't remember what they're called, Spearton's, I think it is. They're, they're tough bastards, they are. But I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay, right. I probably want a couple more archers, but I need these soldiers to stop my miners getting mullered, and oh dear god, that's a lot of people. Um, this could be a bit hairy here this line right down now so the archers can get a few shots and weaken them up before they get hit by these dudes because god these guys are so underpowered compared to their oh oh i don't want to lose another person okay right i do have another archer oh i survived okay there we go so it wasn't too bad so we're on to the next stage upgrade i'm gonna max out archers and i'm gonna i haven't got the next upgrade for this yet so uh, tw faster mining rates always good, and we're in sword wraith now. Okay, so one more one more round this time, just basically sort of tutorials, and this is the first wave where I've got to destroy the enemy things, not tutorial. So first things first, I think I'm gonna build another miner. Oh god, that's a bad idea. Right, okay, swordsman right away, so they don't get killed, and quick. Hopefully, I can build another swordsman quickly. Come on, come on, come on. One. Oh god. Oh poo. Oh, that wasn't the best. Oh, that was a poor start. Oh god. Right, we're gonna have to improve our tactics quickly. Build another miner and hopefully it's not the end of the world. Hopefully I'll be alright. <laughs> Or do I build... No, I've got to build a miner, really. But yeah, their, their troops are so much more powerful than mine, because I've got it on hard. And they're just generally more powerful. You have to have better tactics. And yeah, I was pretty poor there. I let one of my miners die. Not the best. Not the best. But it should be okay. I should be alright to survive. I think next thing I need to do is build an archer. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Come on. Nearly there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It does take a little while to build as well. 2v1. Now, if I lose, oh my god, this is just so bad. So one of them is going to die, inevitably. Oh no, they didn't. That's a surprise. I thought they would. Okay then. I'm happy with that. Um, but on hard, they have better AI, and I think they toughen up the troops as well. So this should be interesting to see how I'm going to play through some of these. Definitely, need, I'm gonna build up my defenses a bit first, then get some more miners to get some gold in quicker, so that near the end I can just keep spamming troops when I want to try and attack them. Archers are good though. Archers are really good, really effective when you're upgrading from the start. And then later you get spearmen um, or like Spartans, I think they are. They're really, really effective. So I'm gonna use a lot of them. And let's get another archer. And yeah, I've got a population max of 20. I don't... I think you can increase that later, I'm not sure. Or there might be a perk to increase it, not a perk, like a skill point. But yeah, archers, there we go, look at that. Owned. So they're, good, they're really, really good for defensive. I should have built one straight away, really, but I've... I oh, never mind. Right, let's get another miner to increase our earnings. Digging away. You can also increase your, like, statue health and... It's just putting the right skill points and the right things. You have to be pretty tactical about what you're doing to make sure you don't 
absolutely balls up at the start, which I've done so many times. You have to sort of gain a good tactician-ness. I, I love strategy games, oh, they're so good. But they, be, they can be so, so stressful as well. Like, screaming, don't die, and oh god. Right, another miner. And once these guys have mined out all of this mineral stuff, all of my troops will move up to defend them, and they'll start mining here. These archers should make short work of these guys, though. So I've got four of them now, do I? Or three? I don't know. Four. Nice. Nice. Okay, he's bailing. He knows he doesn't stand a chance. Got loads of gold. Okay, this is good. Having lots of miners is good. And we want lots of archers, too, as well. Just to, like, help when I do decide to attack, to help rain down hell on the enemies. Yep, they've moved up now, forward. So, there we go. And... They're firing, right, more archers, right, uh, do I have enough of these guys or do I want another one? I don't want to waste too much of my population on miners, so four's probably enough I reckon. And I've just got the rest of the troop, my troops, I'm probably going to build as uh, these foot soldiers. Or swordsmen, are they swordsmen? I don't even know. No, they're not, on. oh yeah, no, they are swordsmen, but they can upgrade them. So these are upgraded swordsmen, and mine are just rubbish. Basically, they can't take any damage, they just die. So yeah, that's what I've got. But I'm going to max out, attack them, and hopefully I won't get mullered. So I've got all these guys giving me constant source of gold. I might save up my gold actually a little bit before I attack. To ensure that I've got money just to, as soon as I lose a person, build another one straight away. That's probably the best tactic to do so I don't lose, as it is on hard. I mean, on insane I'd probably definitely lose. And they're trying to attack me now, so hopefully these archers will... got quite a lot of them. So they're starting to fire. Oh, nice, nice. That was good. That's really good. That's why archers are so good to upgrade stuff with, which is what I found. It's the best tactic possible, right? So I've got max troops now. Um, I'm going to wait till I've got about five, six hundred gold probably, and then I'm going to attack. Because that way I've got a bit of backup, so I can keep sending troops in constantly, not have to worry about retreating, regrouping, and all that. Because it just takes too much time, and it can be really risky. Because if my archers are left undefended, then it's really not good. So, right, I think I've got enough of that. Let's go. Attack. So attack them with all my troops. Huge horde compared to their nothing, really. So I should be, uh, honestly, if I don't swipe like this, they can block, though, obviously. But yeah, piece of piss. Right, now they're going to go in and attack the main base. But they never seem to target these miners, so maybe I should try um, controlling one of them. Cool. Okay. Oh, I can't get past. Oh, I can't see. But yeah, I've won this level easy. I'm just going to... Oh, okay, mate. Build some troops. Oh, that lagged a little bit there. Okay. The archers aren't very good against the statue, though. And look, I'll see what's happened here. You see, I lost quite a lot of my troops there. Because they get distracted by the enemies. And for some reason, they seem to have infinite amounts of money as well. So they can just keep building. Which doesn't really seem fair. But, oh well. Oh yeah, max population limit, but yeah, I've usually won this one, and that's the first first few easy rounds. I've won it, there we go, and you've unlocked the sword upgrade, so there we go, that's what I wanted. So this, so 20% attack strength, so these guys are so much stronger. Um, this I'll upgrade next, and what can I upgrade here? So 2% gold generated a second, I mean plus 2 gold a second, that's not really that useful. Um, improves arrows fired by castle archers. Oh right, okay, yeah. And that's just more hit points, so twice the health of this statue, so you can survive longer. But to be honest, if they start attacking your statue, you're pretty much screwed anyway, because all of your miners are going to die. It's best to never even let them near, in my opinion. So yeah, that was uh, part one of this playthrough, and we're attacking the Spiritans next. So please come back for the next episode. I'd appreciate it very much. Thank you, and goodbye.